Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van. And the van is looking a lot fresher, smelling a lot fresher. There's no more smell of diesel. Um, and we're quite happy with it. We are very, 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 very happy with the van. Like, it's amazing. I think we've just done such a brilliant job in here with all the carpeting. We've got it absolutely everywhere. So obviously you've seen us put it into the main living area of the van. Then we've got it all in the front, nice and neat. We've even cut round the little bolts in the seat belts. We've got it down the steps, on the steps. We've gone carpet crazy. We put it in the drawers, in the pockets. We've even got a bit Not of these dashboard. pockets, on the dashboard, everywhere. We've been really anal about like cutting out the little um, plaque with the chassis number on for when they check it when the vehicle inspection happens um yeah and it just looks fantastic we're still keeping um a lot of our little rugs on the floor because it just helps to pick them up and shake them out um and yeah and because we have got a vacuum i can keep it nice and clean and fresh we're just really chuffed aren't we we've even carpeted inside the footstools yeah <laughs> <laughs> gone carpet crazy inside the pockets <laughs> shut cut so behind our little cool box was where the heater was before and we are going to put it back in there. We haven't yet because we're waiting to get some thicker tubing. So thanks for the comments on the last video about like replacing the the heater tubing with some better stuff because it is a bit um, thin. Flimsy, so, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to look online before we reinstall the heater. Yeah, I don't know whether you guys, you guys have seen this neat little drawer that lifts up to reveal the heater. When the heater's there. I do actually want to put carpet there, but we've run out, so... I think we've got enough carpet in this van now, look. <laughs> what else is new, darling? What else is new? Oh, well, we've got a brand new little Sarah made cushion here that I did start a while ago and I finally got round to finishing that off. I'm quite happy with that. It hasn't got a very thick inner in it. That's why it's a bit flimsy. We need to get a new inner, but yeah. It's pretty much the same style as uh, everything else in our van. Our little pockets and uh, the uh, driver's seats and these. And this is just another little seat. Look at that. Which is now very, very comfortable with the extra cushion. And yeah, so we're all back on track and happy with the van again. Oh, and by the way, guys, Ooh. these things just happen. Just like just this morning, just before we started filming, Check it out, simple curtain. We had the sarong and the sarong did do really well, but it's got a bit ripped and these sarongs are really like low quality. They're really, really thin. So it's a bit flimsy. So sarongs are great if you've got a thick one. And this is kind of like a, a really thick sarong and um, it fits perfectly. And now we're just doing it like curtain style and that's it. And then it stores there behind the bin and it's away from the flame when you're cooking. So we're quite happy, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, Sarah's going to do a little stitch up job though around the edges and at the bottom to stop it from coming apart. But yeah. And that's all you need. It's a really, really nice, colourful little curtain. So anyway, enough about the van. <laughs> what have we been up to since we did the last vlog? Well, apart from getting over our complete fear of using our porta potty, which we now have. And our fear of cleaning it. <laughs> Ben. Which we also now have. <laughs> Which you've done it. It's all right. It's all right. It's easy. It's a bit early in the vlog to um, start, start talking. Start talking crap, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, guys, you're probably wondering where we are. Well, we've just arrived at this beautiful little village called Castellar de la Frontera. It's got a lovely little castle on the hill. It's a little old walled village, a little sort of hippie community. It's got a beautiful lake surrounded by amazing countryside. And we will be filming here over the next few days. So you'll have to wait for the next vlog to see this beautiful place. So what have we been up to over the last week? Well, we went back to Tarifa, didn't we? But the main reason we did this was to see an old friend of mine who I used to work with. His name's Ricardo. He's a Portuguese guy. He's really cool. Um, and he's got his own van and he works full time and lives in his van. He had four days off. So what better place to meet up and hang out and Tarifa. I'm going to have to replace this mug very soon. This feeling foxy mug is just not doing it for me anymore. Either <laughs> 
Well, the reason we got it is because the little ginger fox there looks a little bit like Charlie. But I think it's about time we got some blinking explorers mugs, don't you? I think it's about blinking time we did. <laughs> and some t-shirts and hoodies and hats so, and anyway, guys, knickers. Um, we haven't moved permanently to Tarifa. I know it may seem like that. I mean, we absolutely love Tarifa. The dogs love Tarifa. We love the beach. We love the chilled vibes. The fact that you can just park your van wherever, you know. Dizzy loves all the kite surfers. Like, he just can't get enough of running down the beach barking after them. <coughs> No, we haven't moved there permanently, but, you know, obviously because we're not allowed to leave our province, um, we probably will spend more, quite a bit more time there until we can leave our province. But there is a lot to explore. There is a lot, and we are going to explore this province properly. Go on then, I'll have that mug if you're sick of it. Yours is all right, isn't it? <laughs> Yours is quite nice. Anyway. Yes. So um, we did actually explore some of Tarifa that we've never seen before. And we have been there a lot, didn't we, love? Did. Well, me and Ricardo did. Sarah was a little bit lazy. <laughs> no, no, no. no, I had to take care of the doggies <laughs> and we were a little bit worried because it's processionary caterpillar season and there's a lot of pine trees. We were a little bit worried, weren't we? Yeah. We're basically talking about a hike up a mountain inland from Tarifa. Yes, we've headed into the mountains. We've left the white sand beach of Tarifa and we've come for a nice little hike. Now, we feel quite bad because we've been coming here for years and years and we've never actually gone inland off the coast. And so glad Ricardo has made me come up here because we've never seen this and it's just amazing. The views are beautiful. You can see the beautiful stretch of beach down towards Tarifa and then the, the scenery is incredible. We've got lush vegetation, all these green fields. It, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna continue up. It's hard work, hard going. We haven't had the right training to get into this over the last couple of days. Little too many vinos, shall we say. So, to be fair, we have taken a few wrong turns. I don't know how long we've been gone. How long have we been? Like an hour? Two hours? Three hours? Lost track of time. But while we're missing it up this hill, I wonder what Sarah's doing. I wonder if she's getting on with some stuff in the van or she's just soaking up some rays on the beach and playing around with the dogs. So yeah, Tarifa isn't all about the beaches. Even though it's got two amazing white sand long beaches, it's not all about that. It's not all about the vans, the pretty old town, the kiting. There's so much more, yeah. Me and Ricardo went off hiking. We never, we'd, we'd been to Tarifa for like years and we never even sort of gone a it's kilometer a of, inland. A hundred meters inland. Really. Yeah, it's yeah. all about sort of the beach and stuff. And um, and it's amazing scenery. You've got the mountains. I think it's the Los Al Alconales National Park that's north of Tarifa. So it just goes on and on, but you've got these beautiful green hills coming down to the White Sand Beach. And it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm really so nice, glad we did like, that Really nice, like rock formations mm. and just wild and lovely. And of course that coast and Tarifa, it's not, you know, you've got the small town of Tarifa, but it's not built up at all. There's no high no. rises, no hotels, like what it's like on the Costa del Sol. So it's all just really beautiful. It's just inland. beautiful, like, yeah, like wilderness or well fields but there's loads of animals charlie would have loved it to be fair we saw like donkeys cows goats horses and some puppies and some sweet little puppies which may have been the highlight of the walk <laughs> although we did eventually find a nice viewpoint after getting lost several times but yeah definitely um we will be going back up there to explore sort of the yeah. interior and there wasn't any of the uh, caterpillars, caterpillars no. yeah. so it would be safe to take the dogs as well so it's pretty cool well then jump up Good boy, you sit there. Good boy. <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice to do the hike into the interior, but it's it nice just chilling by the vans. 
You know, it's not often we just park up and just sort of hang out yeah. and, and be social. Uh, and Ricardo's <laughs> got lovely. like a, a cool little retro van. Like Vinny, his van is exactly the same year as mm. Vinny. It's like from 1991 as well. So they've both got 30-year-old vans. And Ricardo's done his own little build. It's kind of quite basic, but it's totally practical what he's got in there, isn't it? Totally, yeah. That's all you need, really, is, you know, you know the kitchen. He's got a shower, which yes. is similar to our setup. Yeah. Well, we actually inspired him. You know, he hasn't got the hula hoop, but he's done sort of a netting thing. Then he's got a, a bucket. But he has beaten us because he's yeah. got hot water. He's got, he, <laughs> yeah, and we've uh, been inspired by him to maybe, because mm. I think we could probably work it out and fit it in this van. You get these little um, heaters, uh, hot water, you know, gas. Um, and they're boiler, so efficient. So boiler, and, they're, efficient. and they're really small and they're, and they're quite cheap as well. So we've been looking online. So I think we might get one of those. So watch this space. Ricardo, we're going to steal your <laughs> hot boiler. We sort of hung out on the beach during the day, so the dogs had the freedom and we had the freedom of the beach. And then just in the evening times, we just went and parked up in the town. Yeah, we decided to go into Tarifa town to park up. There's so many vans all around Tarifa, it's kind of accepted. And loads of people do still park on the beachfront car parks, like the one which we spend the day on and the one close to town, but you, you're not really supposed. There are signs up saying you shouldn't park there. It's probably allowed in off season. And what's our rule? If there's a sign. Up. We can't be here from sunset. Sunset to sunrise, apparently. So um, I think vans do stay down here anyways, but we like to sort of abide by the rules. So yeah, it was nice to hang out with um, another human being. <laughs> <laughs> Other than just me. Other than just her. <laughs> Because no, no, seriously, you know, we uh, during these pandemic times, you you don't get a chance to, yeah. to speak we to people. Seen we haven't anyone. seen anyone. We haven't seen any of our friends at all for like you know a year years. and a half, haven't we? You know, just people in the village, some friends there. That's it. Mm. Like anyone outside, of course, we haven't been able to. We're not really been allowed with all the restrictions and everything. So it was really cool to see someone yeah. that we haven't seen for. It's a while. quite cute because we hadn't I hadn't seen Ricardo for like two years. And um, and actually, he's one of the only people we've left the dogs with. We've only left the dogs like three times, a couple yeah. of times in kennels. Left them with him, and he had a greyhound and a couple of chihuahuas and stuff. And and they remembered, they totally remembered him. Charlie loved him, jumping yeah. up at him. So, yeah, that was really nice. Um, we've mm. come inland only a little bit, and there is quite a few flies. See, that's the thing, isn't it? In springtime. Is it springtime you get a lot? There seems to be a lot now. And obviously we haven't got the nets on the windows at the moment um, because we're sat here talking to you guys, the door's open. But luckily Sarah's a little Mr. Miyagi with that fly yeah. sauce. <laughs> Should see her with chopsticks, she's a killer. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah, so we did um, leave Tarifa and we headed to the beautiful Bologna, which is only about 10 kilometers further up the coast. Yeah, sort of the next beach west of Tarifa, if you like. And it's separated from Tarifa by like a little mound, mm. a little hill. A little mountain, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> so you sort of go inland, lovely little drive round the little mountain and then down towards Bologna. And again, Bologna is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Really picturesque little beach. And at the right far end of the beach, you've got this huge sand dune, haven't you? Amazing sand dune. And to get there, there's an amazing boardwalk. <laughs> Bologna is a tiny little village um, and it was quite busy even though not not for tourists but for vans it was like loads of vans yeah. parked down there. That was a nice little afternoon down yeah, there. Yeah wasn't we it? did find a nice little park up just off the beach um, with a nice view had a, had a little bit of lunch there. Yeah. Um, oh the other thing in Bologna is the Roman ruins if you're in the area go and check them out because yeah. <sighs> I googled it. I googled it, and there's a. Um, I think they're like the best um, preserved, preserved or not preserved. I think they're the most um, complete. Complete. It's like the com most complete old Roman town 
in the whole of Spain or something. It, it, they're, they're quite they're good. Quite they're quite good. There's a, there's a visitor centre there and you, I think you pay a few euros to go around the whole thing. Mm. I mean, you can see some of it from just like the It's amazing. Walk. You've got the pillars and you can see where houses and things used to be and it's right just off the beach. Just I mean, would have been... If you're a Roman, back in the days, it would have been perfect really place picturesque. to have your little stone hut. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, walking around these little old Roman ruins, and that's definitely the place to go. And then, then have a fantastic day on the beach as mm. well. So it's definitely worth calling it, isn't it? Lovely little place there. The dogs, yeah. The beach is an amazing stretch of beach. There's loads of dogs there again. There's always dogs on this coast. There's so many dogs <laughs> yeah. and vans. It's Most screaming. of them are owned. You know, cars yeah, yeah, yeah. Their thank, owners, thank, but, thank God. You know, I, I know obviously in a lot of places lot of beach places you know you can't take your dogs on the mm. beach in high season yeah, like yeah. on the Costa del Sol and things like that but Tarifa and Bologna you you're allowed to and, and people are responsible there's no dog mm. poops anywhere and dogs can just be there and roam free and it's it's nice because yeah you see dogs of all shapes and sizes and you know you know that they're going to be all right because they're off the lead and people are quite responsible seem to be so you get these huge dogs coming up to yeah. dizzy and charlie you get a little yeah. bit nervous but um but yeah it's all good so you see, the thing is with dogs i always think that they're going to be fine as in not snappy and stuff of each other if you let them off the leads aren't they dogs always bark at each other but it's always when they're on the lead as soon as you mm. let them off to play then they sort of sense who's the bigger higher up the yeah. you know and, and they sort it out between themselves and then they get on. It's when dogs are dragged by their owners on their leads that they're... Or just rah, pick them up and they're being swung round to stop <laughs> little annoying black dogs bite them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. So yeah, it was, it was a good like week on the week. coast again yeah. but um, obviously we had the diesel leak then we mm. had to sort all that out and fix the carpet up and everything else and then once that was all done we were off and we had a really really good few days didn't we dead mm. chill dead relaxed but now we really want to do a little bit of traveling and exploring around the province before we get locked down <laughs> again <laughs> that could happen any moment oh dear so um so yeah we have moved a little bit inland and um but you will have to wait for the next vlog for this place yes because we haven't filmed it yet obviously because we've only just got here just arrived and had a cup of tea <laughs> Where's me brekkie? <laughs> I'm just going to interrupt this broadcast to thank today's sponsor of the video and that is Skillshare. Now for those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it's an incredible online learning community full of thousands of different classes covering a whole range of creative subjects. It's a perfect tool to brush up on old skills or discover new ones. When we get a chance, Sarah and I both love sketching and drawing. So we've had a browse on Skillshare and we found an interesting class by Carly Kuhn. It's called Start Drawing, Three Fun Freeing Exercises to Spark Your Creativity. And basically she's exploring sort of away from the traditional style of drawing, like abstract and just, just thinking outside of the box and letting your creativity flow. If you're interested in signing up for Skillshare, click the link in the description below and the first thousand people to do so will get a free trial of the premium membership for Skillshare. And then after that, it's less than $10 a month. While Sarah's cooking some lunch up, um, we're going to escape from the van because it's getting a little bit toasty in there, not going to lie. And I thought I'd take these dogs for a walk. Um, there are quite a few walks in the area, we think. We've seen a few signposts just opposite the van. Um, I think you can walk round the castle as well. We hopefully can get down to the lake, but we shall see. But it's beautiful up here. It's so peaceful. You've got all these lovely yellow flowers and all these lovely rock formations and yeah it's just the national park opposite and there's not that many people up here which is nice covid and all what are you up to oh my gosh have a look at you what's that you wearing have a look at it give us a twirl I've had this. It? I've had this underneath the the utensil drawer, like underneath the tray, for blinking ages, and I kind of just forgot it was there. But it's quite nice, isn't it? Wearing a little pinny apron, tabard, one of these for cooking. Nice that. Uh... Yeah. I'm thinking as well. Maybe we should get explorers, explorers uh, aprons. Why not? Why not? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lovely. Yeah. So we're just having a bit of lunch. We're having a bit of a scrap together, whatever we've got left, use up style lunch. A um, bit of crunchy tofu, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, some onion, garlic, with a bit of sexy, red hot, 
I, I'm smoking. Smoking paprika. I'm smoking paprika. And then we've just got some um, fresh coriander that just needs using because it's almost not green anymore. And that's what we're having. We've just done a little bit of wholemeal pesto to go with that. And yeah, and it's so blinking hot in the van. It's really hot. You know, you leave the coast and come inland away from that like sea breeze, ocean breeze, and it feels it's really hot today, doesn't it? Mm. It's only 23 degrees or something like that. I was thinking it would be nice to have a little picnic and, you know, go and sit on the grass, get a blanket out, but you don't, you know, you don't know what sort of loud and if, it, if you should be doing it, you know, because it's still kind of restrictions with the COVID and stuff, isn't it? So I don't know. I might just have to sit here. I've got the door open, nice view. Do you know what I mean? Doing it. It's in the shade. Yeah. It's actually a little bit too hot. It is hot. I don't know if this concoction is going to go. We've got crunchy tofu, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, hot spicy paprika. We um, all know all about the hot and spicy paprika, lovey. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. It smells good. I got that um, tofu really nice and crispy as well. There you are, my love. Thank you, my dearest. Look at that. Well, there you go. And uh, and that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Well, it's not a wrap, it's pasta. There's lots <laughs> of other ingredients. But um, this vlog's a wrap. Um, yeah, so take care, guys. We're off to explore this little beautiful village after we've had this. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, and please, can you give us a little subscribe if you haven't already? A thumbs up would also be absolutely marvellous. Send us a lovely little message telling us how wonderful we are. And don't forget to tell all of your friends and family about us. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys always do this anyway. You know, that's why I've got such a huge channel. Well, I mean, quite Ish. big. Anyway. Big for us. Big for us. Anyway, we're going to go, guys, and have this before it gets cold. So take care. Be safe. Be sane. And see you all really soon in the next Explorers. Enthralling video. episode. Cheers. Bye now. <laughs> Charlie, you're totally ruining the shot again. <laughs> <laughs> Even head a little bit further up the coast. Yeah, you say something. <laughs> your tea's going cold. <laughs> you waffling on, your tea's going cold. Go, 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 go. Get him, Charlie, get him. Go. Ready, steady, go. Go. Never goes as planned.